Hey guys, it's Alex. How you doing? Today I want to run a little test, uh, something I've been curious about for a real long time, and I talked to uh, Junior about testing some stuff on modern Mustangs with the electronic throttle control. So this right here is a twin board throttle body GT500 bolt pattern. So basically this is a twin 72 that was recalled back in the day, and I just kept it around just to mock up and just to show examples. So what I did is I reinstalled the motor that was back in it and I wanted to see if I can access this guy with some kind of uh, needle nose or kind of pliers or something like that. So the goal is this. The goal is to see if I can actually actuate the throttle not using the pedal. You know what I mean? So I'm going to see if I can crack the throttle from outside of the car and see if the car revs or if it throws codes for fail safing. Um, my hope is that it throws a code and it, you know, shows like a P2112 or a throttle actuator stuck closed code. But if it doesn't, you know what I mean? Like if I go out here with the car running, crack the throttle and the car revs, well, theoretically, theoretically, <laughs> you can put a throttle linkage in this and make it manual, not electronic throttle control. Well, why am I doing this? Well, I have this 2014 GT500. This 2014 GT500 has a Kenny Bell 168 throttle body. So the Kenny Bell 168 throttle body likes to shut when there's a lot of resonance at, because of the blower. The blower is spinning at a bazillion RPMs and there's a lot of resonance and a lot of things going on. And what happens is at really aggressive throttle, it'll start to shut going down the track it, at about 6,900 to 7,000 RPMs. You're going down the track. It will shut the throttle ever so slightly. So what I want to prevent is that from happening, keeping the throttle wide open throttle mechanically. But I want to see if it works. Now, the theory I have, we have, is that if you eliminate this guy, but still keep the TPS active, that it might just work. You know what I mean? Like a, think about it, a mechanical linkage on an electronic throttle body if you turn off the logic. But as long as the TPS stays monitoring proper angle, I, you know, I can't see why that wouldn't work. So the goal is gonna be to pop off this little cap right here. Let me undo this so you guys can see better. Okay, so pop off that cap, right? Popping off that cap will look like this. Okay, and as long as I can get something on there, grab it and manipulate the throttle. Let me see which way I gotta go. I think I have to go backwards, yep. Yes, yeah, so let me try it out. Okay, so basically I'd have to kind of access it like that and see if I can manipulate the throttle from the outside like this and see if it revs, if it goes vroom, 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 vroom. <laughs> if it does, then that means should be able to make a linkage work one way or another, but that's the test that I'm gonna run today and see if it works out. Okay, so I need some kind of screwdriver situation here. Get after it, because I think it's sealed with an O-ring. So let me uh, get some kind of tool in here, but I don't want to drop this thing. Actually, it looks like it might come out just by hand. Nope, nope, definitely need some kind of tool. All right, I was able to just use this little guy and uh, should theoretically come on. I'm trying to take it out so you guys can see it. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so dang it. So that was what I thought what might be an issue. The fact that I... It doesn't stick out like this one sticks out. So this one is a GT500, but I don't know why the shaft doesn't stick out as much as this guy does. See how much stick out this guy has? Dang it, I was hoping I was able to access it as much as that one, but definitely not the case. See what I mean? It's kind of like turtled, like your dick does at the pool on a cold day. Um, so I want to see if there's another way of me manipulating this from the outside without having to tear this whole situation apart. If you're asking, if you're asking yourself, hey Alex, why don't you just take that out? You know, like just remove the whole throttle body. Well, that's what I'm trying to prevent. I don't wanna to have to go through 
the whole process of removing the throttle body, taking all this stuff out, testing something, and then if it does or doesn't work, do it all over again and risk tearing the gasket, risk, this is just, I'm trying to do a, on the simpler side of a test. So I have a little bit of room to take this motor out. Now, if I remove this motor, it's gonna have to back out, but this guy's in the way, the master cylinder's in the way. So I'm gonna see how far back I have to set this one on the bench, see how far back I can go with it without it being an issue. Sorry for the fog. Without it being an issue, you know, see if I can get about a quarter inch and still remove the motor. I don't think so because the windings, this is the, the rotor and the windings are kind of still in here and I'll show you what the inside of this guy looks like. Okay, let's see how much room, I'm gonna, let's say the master, the little master cylinder is like here, so let's see how much room I have. Oh, uh, hell no, no way I'll be able to take this out. And there's a magnetic pull to this, so I might be able to get an angle on it, but the fact that I have to back this guy all the way out to expose, see there's a mag, this is all a magnet here. Let's see if I can show you that. See, there's a magnet. Obviously, if you know how electric motors work, think of this as a, imagine this <laughs> on each wheel. That's basically a Tesla motor drive. So, uh, the fact that I, it's, mm, I'm going to try it, but let me see if I can manipulate the throttle with the motor. No. Oh, yes. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. That's good. So if I'm gonna go boom, it's kind of quick. So it's like, so you can see how fast the motor needs to turn when you're actuating the throttle. And if the blade is full open and there's a bunch of air rushing in and it's fighting you like 30 pounds of boost and it's sucking and the blower over here is making a shitload of resonance, this motor might start wigging the fuck out and doing that stuff and then it throws a fail safe because the motor's trying so hard to keep the blade fully open that it throws a fail safe, gets hot, all that stuff. But I can manipulate it from the outside. So let's see if I can take this section off, wow, this section off of the current throttle and I can manipulate it that way. Okay, so I was able to uh, take the screws out, had to get a little creative with the tools, but let's see. <laughs> Let's see how much room I have. Ah, it's gonna be tough and, okay, comes up pretty easy. There's the gasket. Can I get enough twist on it? Oh, I can do it. Yeah, no problem. Hell yeah, hell yeah, beautiful. Okay, get the gasket, beautiful. All right, so got it all in one piece. That was nice, that was live. Fuck it, we're doing it live. And here is the motor. And here, let's see if we can prove that the Blade is opening and shutting. Let's see. No, I can't really prove that the blade is opening and shutting without opening up the cold air. But theoretically, this should stop turning. Th there it is. Okay, good. And this guy should stop turning the other way when it bottoms out on the spring. Oh, there it is. So right now it's on the spring. So, hmm. What's gonna happen when I turn the car on? <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Uh, this will be an interesting test for sure. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall this cap in there and uh, seal the little thingamajig, whatever the hell you call that thing. Okay, beautiful. All right, let's, uh... so, okay. The whole reason I'm doing this is to see if I can actually rev it from here without the pedal being connected to the motor and see if it fails safe, see if it throws codes. So let's see what happens when we turn it on. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, uh, first of all, when I key on, the throttle should kind of do a self test, but since it's not connected, we'll see what happens. Okay, good, let me shut off the intercooler pump. Let me start data logging, diagnostic data logging, yes sir. Normal mode always. And windows down. And we'll see what happens when I turn it on. Park, boom, boom, boom. Okay, see what happens when I turn it on, see if it revs to the moon or something. Okay, it might fail safe.
utterly excited and confused. But let me check for codes. Key on. Exit out of here. Let me see. Oh. Diagnostics. Um, check codes, read codes. And there's a bunch of other codes. But as long as there's no throttle codes, man, I think we're okay. So that's the fuel pump not being triggered properly. Uh, no, there's no trans in this thing. There's a turbo 400 trans. Waste gate, which is a bypass, no big deal. Uh, that's all bypass because it has, and I don't have a diff temp sensor. That same thing. Lost community, it doesn't have ABS either. Oh, beautiful. So no throttle body codes. We're in the money, guys. So this is my underlying theory <laughs> that if you're having throttle closure issues with a electronic throttle uh, control big bore throttle body on a big blower that's spinning high or even turbo applications and you're having issues with the throttle closing because the motor is having trouble keeping it open based on resonance based on who knows might be able to get a cable throttle in it and actuate it manually and not have issues without it fail safing so i'm gonna try some things but that was just a test i wanted to try out to see how it went and uh junior sent me some tunes so we can try other things but since it didn't throw any codes it might tell me that it could be okay okay very exciting that's that's actually why i love that I own these vehicles because we can test stuff out. So now I'm gonna flash a tune and as always, when you flash a tune and you have a dual fan heat exchanger, you know, when you're flashing a tune, it's sensitive to voltage. And if you got two fans whizzing, flying, then it could be a problem. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disconnect the fuses, put a charger on that, flash the tune that Junior made to test some other things out and see if it acts the same and log that also. Okay, gonna upload a tune that Junior sent over to test some things I'm not going to give too much away but um, this is all an effort to see if we can remedy the issue with this throttle body specifically anytime I'm over 7,000 rpms it shuts throttle now this is a built motor this sucker should be revving 7,700 the highest I've been able to rev it without it closing is um, 68, 6900, then the throttle starts to go wah, wah, and it starts to shut and it sounds like it's a limiter. So, uploading the tune, gonna go ahead and uh, see if it acts the same. And if it does, then the test would be complete and we would call it successful. The goal is to get a linkage, some kind of throttle body manual pedal linkage situated on this car since it's a full race car and get rid of the electronic throttle control altogether. Beautiful. Tune successfully updated. So, key off. Okay, come over here and disconnect the, um, got a little jump box. Good, okay, so actually I might leave it connected. Yeah, it's on there pretty good. So I'll start the car, start data logging, and we'll see. Um, based on what Junior made to change wise, see if there's any difference. Diagnosed, data logging, yes, normal. Okay, let's see, uh, let's see if she starts. I'll start data logging soon, though. Data logging. Okay, let's see if it starts.
Okay, more questions, more questions, more questions. That was interesting. Good thing I data logged it and videoed it. If anything, that just kind of gave me more questions. Um, obviously, disconnecting the motor does not necessarily not actuate the throttle with your foot. It didn't throw a fail safe, but it did show the angle change on the pedal and the engine revved up. So is the pedal requesting torque or is the pedal requesting a throttle angle? Eh, interesting. Um, but that was just a nice little test that we wanted to try out. I'll send a data log to Junior and the video. See what he says, but again, all this is just to prove out. And this is what we call vetting. The vetting process of the tuning, the data logging, everything to see if this is a viable option for race cars, full blown race cars that have issues with the throttle shutting at wide open throttle, high RPMs with a ton of resonance happening uh, in the engine bay. So I thought it was an interesting test. Uh, even after I hit the pedal, I was like, oh my God, I'm more confused. Okay, so I wanted to bring you guys a little video of what we do in the background proving things out, vetting process. No, this is not available. No, we're gonna, not gonna send you the tune. It's just in-house vetting. Just wanted to give you a sneak peek behind the scenes of what happens when we try out some theories based on the vehicles that we have in-house. Once everything is uh, proven and proper, we should be able to um, maybe offer it to our race cars and then race guys only, but don't ask about it. Don't say nothing about it. It's just some uh, back behind the scenes background stuff to show you guys. All right, guys, thanks for listening, guys. Talk to you later.